Hey guys, um, so today we're going to continue with our theoretical computer science series uh, and today I'm going to teach you uh, a deterministic finite automata containing a substring. So I'm going to take an example, for example uh, a string should contain the string subs uh, uh, string should contain a substring b a b and our deterministic finite automata should be able to recognize this. So I'm going to teach an excellent method, this is slightly different from what all others teach and if you're not familiar with this you should see the other, uh, other videos of our TCS series. So yeah, so I'm going to start now. Uh, so uh, okay, so as we know. Okay, so as we all know, our M mathematical model is equal to Q sigma del Q0 F. So I'm going to define the Q now. So since this is our, this we want our substring to be B A B, I'm going to consider a few states. First let me take Q0. Q0 is going to be my initial state. Q1, so I'm going to consider Q1 as the string containing B. Then I'm going to consider a Q2, a state uh, for string containing B A. And last but not the least, I'm going to consider Q3, the string containing B A B. So as we know this is going to be our final state and this is going to be our acceptance state. So yeah, these are all the states consisting, so the Q consists of this. Sigma, we know our sigma is going to be A and B, that's our infant alphabet. Then sigma, we're going to go to sigma, then we know our Q0 and F, we know that our final state is Q3, that is the acceptance state. So this is our mathematical model. Now I'm going to go to the transition state and I'm going to draw the transition table for you guys. Okay, so now for the transition table. So as we all know, on the x-axis, we put the input alphabet our input alphabet here is A and B and um, uh, on the y axis I'm going to put uh, all the states that's Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. So just for my reference I'm going to mention here what these states represent. So this represents null, this represents B, B A and B A B. So now one thing I'm going to do is I know that if any string contains B A B it should go directly to the final state. So since Q3 is the state containing B A B if whatever comes uh, suppose I'm in Q3 and I get A it should still go in Q3 because I contain B A B and if I'm, if I'm in Q3 and I get B it should still go in Q3 because it already contains B A B. So for Q3 I'm going to put my states as Q3 Q3. Now for, for the rest, now to fill this up, I taught an excellent technique in my previous videos, which I'm going to repeat here. So what, what do you have to do is, uh, you have to consider these, these pairs simultaneously. So for example, I'm going to start with sigma A, sigma A. So do you guys see sigma A anywhere here? No, right? So I'm going to cut sigma. Do you see A anywhere? No. So I'm going to cut A. So when both the alphabets get cut, you go, in, you go in the initial state. So I go to Q0. Now I'm going to this for sigma B. So sigma B. Do you guys see sigma B anywhere? No. So I'm going to cut sigma. I'm left with B. Do you guys see B anywhere? Yes, Q1. So I, I should get Q1. So I'm going to put Q1 here. Similarly, I'm going to do this for the other states. For example, B A. B A. Now I know B A is the state Q2. 
so I directly go to Q2 now BB BB do I see BB anywhere no so I'm gonna cut one B do I see B yes Q1 so I go to Q1 now B A B B B A A sorry guys my bad so that's B A A do you guys see B A A anywhere no so I'm gonna cut B do you guys see A A anywhere no so I'm gonna cut one A do you guys see A anywhere no so I'm gonna cut since everything gets cut I'm gonna go to my initial state now B A B we already know B A B is our Q3 so Q3 so yeah this is our transition table so looking at this transition table I'm gonna draw the transition diagram now so I hope you guys understood this transition table so just on this since I need to see the table I'm just gonna draw the transition diagram on the side okay since I have four states I'm just gonna draw the four states Q0 Q1 Q2 and Q3 Q0 Q1 Q2 and Q3 okay so Q0 Q's I stay in the same state if I get an input alphabet A but I go to state Q1 if I get an input alphabet B I'm making this diagram by looking at the table so Q0 on A I remain in Q0 Q0 on B I go to Q1 so I'm gonna draw it similarly uh, on Q1 if I get A I go to Q2 and in Q1 if I put B I still I remain in Q1 so B now for Q2 for Q2 if I put A I go to Q0 and in Q2 if I put B I go to Q3 and Q3 since we know is a final state if we get A or B uh, we remain in this state so since this is a final state now uh, just for an example uh, let us co let us consider any string containing b a b right so just for a short example I'm gonna consider string a b a b right so this contains b a b so let's see uh, since we are initially we go to the initial state if we are in q0 if we get a we remain in q0 now if we get b we go to q1 okay now we are in q1 if we get a we go to q2 in q2 now again if we get b we go to q3 so since q3 is our final state we accept this string so this string will get accepted so let us just try another example for example a b b b so initially i am at q0 if i get a i remain in q0 if i get b i go to q1 in Q1 if I get B I remain in Q1 and if I get again B I remain in Q1 so after this I still remain in Q1 not in Q3 which is my final state so this string will not be accepted so our uh, deterministic finite automata or DFA is correct so yeah this is basically the substring example for deterministic finite automata uh, thank you guys. I hope you understood. Please have a look at the other videos and comment for any other videos or anything you guys want us to do. So thank you very much.